Hello and welcome guys to this interesting session of .NET Core Web API. In this session we are going to see how to implement caching mechanism into in our .NET Core Web API session. Before starting the session guys, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification or my future updates. So what is caching? Caching refers to the process of storing frequently used data so that those data can be solved much faster for any future request or operations. We take most frequently used data, copy it into temporary storage so that it can be accessed much faster in future calls from the client. Actually in ASP.NET or MVC we can store the caching in client side but in case of web API we can store in memory or server cache. The in memory cache can store the object, the distributed cache interface in limited to byte. In memory and distributed cache store items as a key value pair. So, what is .NET Core ASP.NET cache? Okay, ASP.NET Core supports several different cache. The simplest cache or cache is based on the iMemory cache. It represents a cache store in the memory of the web server. Just previously, I told that in web api we can store the cache or cache memory inside the web server so let's do some coding or let's do some programming using our visual studio so in visual studio 2022 i am using i will create a web api core web application dot net core web api application create a project this is my dot net core web api application Next, caching API. I am giving the application name. I no need of HTTPS or open API support. 6.0. I am using .NET Core 6.0. So our application is created. So you can see this is the weather forecast service class. And there is a controller called weather, weather forecast controller. Here I am going to add my caching mechanism. I am going to store some records, some data inside my caching mechanism. So this is the API. So I so let's add one static class here. So I am adding one static class. Cache model data. Make it to static. Inside this, I am declaring when I memory cache. This should be come with from Microsoft extension that caching memory. Okay, here I am going to add one public static void method r cache is it will take two parameter on each the cache key id and cache value as i told it is always stored in the key value pair right Inside this, I am declaring one cache expiry option and assigning the option to 60 second. Next, the memory cache I am assigning set, the cache key value and the cache expiration option. Right? This is for adding the cache. I want to retrieve the cache. So, here I am going to add one more method, a int method. It will take the cache key. Here I am getting the memory cache dot get. I am passing this cache key. So this is for adding the cache, catch cache, what you said, same thing, and getting the data. 
सेम कह सकी राइट नेक्स्ट गो टू आवर वेदर फोरकास्ट कंट्रोलर हियर आई एम गोइंग टू आर माय कोड फॉर कैशिंग लॉगिंग सो हियर आई एम एडिंग द कैसे मॉडल डाटा डॉट आर कैसे सो दिस इज द की शुड बी यूनिक अगेन आई एम गेटिंग द रिकॉर्ड एंड दिस इज द वैल्यू आई एम एडिंग इनटू कैसे मेमोरी सो लेट्स रन द एप्लीकेशन बाय पुटिंग अ डिबग पॉइंट So let's. So you can see result is coming hundred because you are adding the cache is hundred the value. So this is all about how to add the cache and how to get the cache. Okay, using I memory cache. So now let's write a code. Public. static stream delete cache so it will also read the cache key so let's add void for this and the memory cache remove dot cache key so how to do this actually so let's add one more controller our there we can see how to uh, get remove also so here i am adding a web api controller so test cache controller you are clicking on add so i no need of route here i am going to keep a route here directly add cache So here also I am going to write like this same to same. So you can see, adding the cache, I am going to add one more which is get cache. Okay, so here it will be integer. right next i am going to add one more thing which is remove cache so for the remove cache we have our delete cache method so for this Guys, forgive about the background noise. So let's see. It is working by add cache, get cache, and remove cache or deleting the cache. Let's run the application. So in add cache, we are adding the value as one. Get cache. Something goes wrong. So no need of static in the API, right? So let's run the application here.
कैसे एडेड लेट सी द सेम कैसे सो दिस इज कैसे आई एम चेकिंग बाय टेस्ट आईडी की व्हिच इज जस्ट नाउ इट एडेड सो यू कैन सी आई एम गेटिंग द वैल्यू लेट्स रिमूव द कैसे सो नाउ इट डिलीटेड नाउ we are getting the cache again it's coming zero but again we will do r cache right so in this way we can implement caching mechanism in our dot net core web api guys if you like my channel please hit the like button so that i will be encourage thank you very much